So before I start this video, let me ask you guys a question. Would you rather pay a technician $200 to fix your computer and have it take like two to three days, or would you rather fix it yourself for free in about an hour? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you here today. This is going to be a PC optimization and virus removal, and we're going to be disabling some programs that you don't need. Um, so let's get right into this. So first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to the bottom left to the start menu and then you're going to right click and go to run and you're going to run msconfig.exe. And we're going to wait a couple seconds and then that's going to open up our system configuration tab. So you're going to go to um, services and you're going to hide all Microsoft services. And then you're going to want to uncheck everything that you don't need. If you're not 100% sure, do not disable them. But this is mainly stuff that's in your, um, your taskbar down there. So you want to keep stuff like your, your wireless card, your um, sound card, but disable stuff that's from your manufacturer like HP, stuff like that. Um, then you're going to want to go to your startup tab. Uh, if you're on Windows 10, go to uh, press the button to open Task Manager. And then you're going to disable everything you don't need. You're going to want to keep your touchpad and your graphics card stuff enabled. But this like Play TV thing, you can disable. Um, OneDrive you want, all this HP crap you don't need. Um, keep your um, audio card enabled. We don't need AMD Quick Stream. Um, I like to keep those enabled. And then, yeah, once you're done disabling this stuff um, and you restart your PC, you're going to notice a performance difference immediately. But now we're going to go to the boot tab, and in order to remove viruses, we need to be in safe mode. So we're going to press safe boot, and then we're going to press the network bubble. And then we're going to click apply and OK. Next thing you're going to want to do is go down here and restart your computer. I'm not going to do that because um, the program I'm using to record actually doesn't record in safe mode, but I will show you what it looks like. So after you've rebooted your computer, um, you're going to see a black screen where your background used to be, and it's going to say safe mode in each corner and then the Microsoft build on the top. Um, this is normal. So that's going to let you know that you're in safe mode and from here we can start removing viruses. And what this mode is, is it's just the basic stuff that your computer needs in order to run. So that enables us to remove any viruses that might be preventing us from removing them. So let's just continue on, pretend I'm working in safe mode. So after we have our internet browser open, we're going to want to type in uh, Malwarebytes. And this is a military grade uh, malware removal software and so you're gonna go to the very first website malwarebytes.org and you're going to download the um, the home version the free version so instead of buy you go to the download press that go to download free version and then it's gonna give you a thank you page and your download will start once that's finished downloading, you just left click it. Um, you can pause the video if you have a slow internet connection, you need more time. But as soon as that's finished downloading, then you're gonna wanna open it. And so down here, pretend this is your antivirus. If you notice that it has like a red exclamation point or it says like uh, expired when you hover over it, that means that you're gonna need to get yourself an antivirus as well. So while we're ma waiting for Malwarebytes to download, we're going to download a, a free antivirus if you don't already have one. So go ahead and Google and type in um, AVG free. And then it's gonna be free.avg.com. Click that and looks like Malwarebytes is finished, so I'm gonna run that. There we go. Click OK, because we're doing it in English. Um, change the language if you prefer. And now we're on AVG uh, Free's website, so uh, yeah, go through the installation process for Malwarebytes. Create desktop, you can pretty much press install on everything. So, okay, we're on AVG Free's website. Now we're just going to download the 
um, free trial or you can also go to downloads and just download the free forever one but the free trial gives you premium for 30 days and then after that it bumps you back down to the regular one um, so it's whatever you choose so after that's finished downloading we're just going to left click that to open it and we're going to install it so go to run and then while that's installing um, you can leave the free trial enabled for Malwarebytes Premium. It'll just drop you down to the basic one again. Um, in fact, you probably should, but just to be safe, uh, leave it unchecked, and then you can get the the regular version of Malwarebytes because it, while the premium has a faster scanner, the um, base version, the free version, has a more comprehensive, uh, deeper scan. So you're going to go to Threat Scan, Recommended, Hyperscan if you decide to go with Premium, Start Scan, and then we can just minimize this now, and we're going to wait for AVG to finish downloading. So you'll go to Install Now or Custom Installation if you want to uh, opt out for the Premium. And then it's going to install AVG uh, Zen. And then after that stuff's finished installing, um, it's going to look like this. So we have malware bytes running the scan. Um, if your computer's infected, detected objects there instead of zero, it'll say like uh, like five, you know, to two thousand, depending on how screwed your computer is. AVG is just installing there, updating the background. So now if we open up Task Manager by right-clicking the bottom bar and opening Task Manager, you see that the disk usage is at 100%. So um, this is a problem with Windows 10 that we're going to correct. Also, uh, you might see, if you have a virus, um, some rogue processes that you don't recognize. Um, I wouldn't recommend trying to remove them yourself or disabling anything in the Task Manager unless you know what you're doing. So now we're going to type in uh, services.exe onto the bottom left in our um, our start menu. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, we're going to uh, go to control panel and then we're going to uninstall programs. And we're going to uninstall anything that we know for sure we don't need. Like all this Cyberlink uh, photo director, we don't need that. We don't need um, AMD Quick. Uh, stream. We don't need Cisco. Just stuff that you don't recognize, but um, be careful what you're uninstalling in here. Like anything from our manufacturer, we already disabled that in previously uh, earlier in the video. But oh, my screensaver just popped. Um, anything by our manufacturer, like Toshiba, HP, uh, you know, Dell, whatever, you don't need. You just, it's bloatware that comes pre installed on the computer. So you can just go through the, the motions of uninstalling that stuff. Again, only uninstall stuff you're 100% certain you don't need. And now we're going to go down to service, uh, the start menu, and type in services.exe. And if you're on Windows 10, it just pops up on the top left right there. So that's going to open up the services, and we're just going to scroll uh, down to the S's, and we're going to disable a program called Superfetch. Uh, so you're going to want to right-click Superfetch, go to Properties, and then make sure that's disabled, and press the Stop button, Apply, and OK. And Superfetch is one of the issues with Windows 10 that actually causes the 100% disk usage, so that's why we're disabling that. So now we're going to go to the bottom left again, start menu, and type in um, Microsoft Smart Screen, and we're going to make sure that is turned off because Smart Screen is also, um, it's basically Windows' malware protection software, but it does not work. So just um, turn that off as well, and then you'll notice that our disk usage is going to be lower. Uh, for me, I'm recording and running a bunch of stuff and this is an older laptop that I'm setting up so it's still at a hundred but it should drop down pretty soon 
Oh look, it's already dropping down. So 80, that's that's about right. As long as it's not 100% all the time, because that's very taxing on your uh, hard drive. So the last thing you're going to want to do is navigate to your start menu and type in Windows Update. And if you're on Windows 10, it automatically updates for you. But if you're on an older version, you want to make sure your computer is up to date. So that's pretty much how to uh, remove antiviruses, guys. Uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.